So I have been diving in recently and learning more about a particular aspect of business that I have very little experience in. And it has reinforced this, uh, this belief that I have, which is that there is no right way to do business. When I'm here sharing with you the things that I've learned, um, that's just it. It's like, I'm sharing with you what's worked for me, but that maybe won't work exactly the same way for you. And you might have a completely different approach that can be just as effective. And this was really driven home because I'm, I'm working on the Beyond the Apex community right now. And I want this to be a holistic approach to how you can build a business. I wanna give our students as many tools and resources as possible to be able to pull out at any given moment to build their business. And I know that there's certain aspects of how I've built my businesses in the past that um, have neglected very key drivers and mechanisms of growth. In particular, what, I want, what I'm talking about here is that I have built two eight-figure businesses and one seven-figure business without ever spending a single dollar on an ad and without ever hiring a single salesperson. <laughs> All of our growth in those businesses was entirely off the back of organic, off of referral, and off of SEO. And that's very different, I think, than a lot of people because the beauty of ads, the beauty of salespeople is that it allows you to quickly scale and grow a business. The difficulty of organic, of referral, of SEO is that they take time. They take a lot of time in some cases to get the flywheel going. And if you need cash coming in the door right away to grow your business, that's maybe not the, the, the primary engine that you can rely on. And so when you look around the space of like get rich quick schemes and people who are like, oh, we'll get you to 10K a month in the next you know, three weeks. When you go and dive into those programs and what people are teaching, it's almost always around ads and outbound sales or inbound sales teams, which I just have no experience with. And I'm not saying that those are bad by any means. I'm just saying I don't have any experience. I've never built those teams myself. And so I'm diving in and I'm learning absolutely everything that I can about this. And I'm going to build this, this capacity. I'm going to use ads. I'm going to build a sales team so that I can reflect back and I can then maybe teach it in a way, you know, as just being one step further along the path than my students. But uh, this can be a powerful tool. More likely what I'll do for Beyond the Apex, because I will not become a, an expert on this in any short period of time, is I will bring in people who are badass at running ads, at building sales teams to teach on this. Now, that's not to say that I don't know how to sell. Um, I think I'm a very good salesman. Um, but I just never, I've never hired or trained for it. And what I was reflecting on recently as I've been going down this rabbit hole and, and consuming information from all these different thought leaders in the space of sales and of, of ads and paid per click uh, advertising is that they're using a lot of lingo, a lot of structures, a lot of metrics, KPIs, I have no expo exposure to. Things that I never think about, that have never crossed my mind because I didn't need to. And it's making me feel in many ways uh, a little like an imposter where I'm like, wait a minute, do I really know this game of business? Like they're talking to me about things and how they run their business that I have no clue about. Zero visibility, none, zip zilch. And yet when I talk to them and tell them about what I do and how I've built my businesses, they're like, that sounds impossible. That sounds like, uh, like I've never thought about that. I didn't know that was an option, right? What's really interesting is most of these businesses, they start with the ads and salespeople, right? And that like getting people in quickly through the door to like grow their businesses. And then over time they evolve and realize the long-term benefits of building the way that I did, right? And so they, they, they become uh, disciples of, of my method of, you know, more, organic referral SEO brand building rather than quick hitting, get people in the door this month. Um, only because they have built a successful business, they have the cash flow that can allow them the, to play that longer game. But this just reinforces the idea that there is no one right way to do business. I think more important is that you pick the ways that resonate with you, that make sense with you. And in the beginning, as you're in that five figure and low six figure range is that you just lean into those things that you know, and you become really great at them. Because one acquisition channel, one method of uh, client acquisition can get you to a million dollars a year. Easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You don't need to master all these different things. In fact, I, I, I mean, you, you, you can master sales and, and advertising and get to six, seven figures as well. 
But the, the thing is I would just pick one and then once you get to that level of proficiency and you have that system dialed in and you can't grow that your business by pouring more into that thing anymore, that is when you start going and looking, okay, how do I layer in this next level? Um, but it's not trying to do it all simultaneously. But I wanted to share this with you guys because um, it's cool being a student. It's cool to go back and feel like a beginner and feel like, what? how have I not ever learned this before? How have I never heard these terms or uh, uh, applied them? How is it that I've run these businesses? Like, um, I guess we're almost on the, we're about a, at a nine figure business right now at Invictus. And I'm like, how have I never even thought about this metric? How has this not even crossed my mind? Um, it's a different stroke for different folks. And so I'm excited to pull these, all these different mind, um, ways of doing business together into one single resource, one big toolbox to be on the Apex community um, that you'll be able to pull from. And uh, then we're gonna be bringing in uh, experts and coaches every week to help train you, not just teach the thing, but train you on how to execute and uh, build your businesses more uh, effortlessly so that you can maximize your return on life. That's the goal. So. If you want to learn more about that, uh, we're getting closer and closer and closer to launching. That is beyondtheapex.com. Go check it out, and we'll catch you guys in the next episode. But until then, stay hyper-focused, my friends.